Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask an answer one simple question. WTF is Team Fortress Arcade. So I decided to make a spin-off of WTF is called WT Free. It makes more sense when you actually read it. Kinda sucks when you say it. Just doing quick previews and recommendations for free games. Absolutely 110% free. Team Fortress Arcade is one of those. It is out today. It is a demake. A demake of Team Fortress 2. In a 2D four-player co-op side-scrolling style. And it's free. So let's give it a quick try, shall we? So this game is designed for up to four players on the same machine. Sadly, I don't have any friends, at least not here at the moment. So looks like I will be sticking with just the one. It's designed and set up so you can play all on the same keyboard as well. And immediately it might get a little bit cramped. Okay, so classes are available. Pretty much all of them, I think. I don't think there's one actually missing. Not to the best of my knowledge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, they're all there. Uh, which to pick? Which to pick? Let's start with Demo Man, shall we? There we go. Let the games begin. Now, this game has, n I believe, nine or ten or so stages. There we go. Okay, that's the moves. It's very, very, very simple. I mean, I think that one's quite a tricky class to play, simply because of the way that the things work. Now, when you jump, your move changes. So, if I were to say jump, I would put stickies down. Other classes have different jump moves. Oh yeah, the demo's actually quite tricky to play. I've played a little bit of this with the scout and with the heavy, and it was much, much easier with both of those. With the demo, I think simply the nature of the weapon makes things a little bit trickier, but hey, it's always fun. It's good to have a little bit of variety, as far as I'm concerned. Now they will detonate again when you jump again, so there you go. Alright, that makes sense. Now, from what I've seen in this game, there are no health pickups of any description, so... Things are starting to actually get really, really hairy. Things were much easier with the other classes. My god, demo is actually tricky. Holy Christ! I had no problems beating this level with the scout. I've already lost most of my HP, so... Not so great. Not so... Not a good start, overall. Not impressed. That's my own personal fault, though. Just the demo man is quite a tricky class. Get to get over there. There we go. A lot of destruction potential, needless to say. But yes, things are not going well initially. Not at all. Now, this has great sort of 16-bit style of music. Which is always awesome. Some of it is TF2 themed, some of it is original, from what I can tell. There we go. Ow, balls. I'm not even going to get to the end here, am I? I'll show you some other classes as well. Now, the cool thing about this is that I've, I've seen, like, the first couple of levels, and they all sort of have a different theme to them. For instance, level 2 is actually payload. So, that's pretty awesome. Whereas on this level, every now and again, you've got to defend your control point in air quotes, which basically means that you just have to stand there fighting waves for a while until you start going forward again. And then I believe you fight each of the main red guys at one point. The first boss is the Red Scout, who is quite difficult to deal with. Ah, you can also sticky jump, which is quite nice. So obviously been a lot of attention to detail put into this. Like Eric Ruth and Eric Ruth Games, which one assumes is just Eric Ruth and some other dude. Or maybe just Eric Ruth. Who knows? Whatever the case, this is quite tricky with the demo. Quite tricky. As far as we can. Now, when you get to the next level, you can change your class if you want, so... I think I will be doing a little bit of that, because, my god, the demo is a bit of a pain solo. Perhaps in co-op, it makes more sense to play with the demo. Alright, boss fight time. Red Scout. This guy is annoying. I wonder if the demo is actually easier. Horrible things are happening. No, the demo is definitely not easier to deal with the Red Scout at all. Oh, Christ. Much more difficult, in fact. I didn't have any problems with the heavy, let me put it that way. <laughs> oh well, I can continue. It's all good. Make our way through here so we can uh, give you a look at this. Same goddamn sonic son of a bitch! Why? <laughs> I think it's just a case of 
drop stickies and hope that he actually stands on them. And he moves so damn quickly half the time as well. Son of a... Why? Yeah. So annoying. <laughs> if you didn't hate scouts already, then you definitely will now. Because my god. <laughs> Bastard little son of a pig. Get back here. Just die. You also have a melee attack as well, as you can see. It's... Which is not all that helpful in this situation. Get just... Please die. <laughs> it's all I ask. Is it too much to ask? Apparently it is. All right. Okay. Damage is being done. Good. Just da, 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 da. eat the bottle, you bastard. There we go. Victory. Hitting both the buttons together gives you the melee attack. There we go. Huh, this is quite stressful on one player. Okay, we can change character. Thank God. Right, okay. What have I not tried? Engineer is quite interesting because you sort of wield a wrench and it just builds turrets in the middle of the map and then they immediately disappear. That's kind of cool. Medic. Sniper. I want to know how they pull off Spy in this game. Let's give that a try. Okay. Here we go. Gontelmon. Yeah, so sadly there doesn't appear to be any disguise for Spy. It's just basic pistol, stabby stabby, and jumping pistol. So... Very basic class, those of you are perhaps looking forward to some disguise mechanics and like they've got any. I suppose you really can't, can you? There we go. Let's keep that payload moving. But if you want, actually I think probably Spy is the easiest class in the game just because it's so, so basic really in terms of its nature. You don't get a huge amount of health with it though, I think only the Scout has less. There we go, keep it out of the way of that, thank you very much. You get back here. It's a nice little fun demake. It's an interesting term, isn't it? Demake. Makes sense, really. It's the idea of taking a game and just making it sort of a more basic, arcade fashion. I think this game's going to shine when you've got four people playing it. It's really, really nice, and it's hard to criticize free games, isn't it? I suppose that you can critique them and say what you think is wrong with them, but you can never say, oh, well, it's not worth the buy, because you'd have to buy it. You can just try it for free. Uh, stabby, stabby. And I think what I'd like to see with it, while it's nice that the levels are TF2 themed, I mean, you do get TF2 vibe. The enemies don't really make a lot of sense in terms of TF2. I mean, rolling boulders, robots with laser beams, th this stuff isn't TF2, but I suppose it makes sense in terms of the story and you can't just keep throwing classes at you because they're the bosses. I think for one thing, I'd say the spy is probably quite basic and maybe this game would have benefited an awful lot from, say, power-ups and things like that. There aren't any of those, from what I could tell. It certainly wasn't the single one of the first levels. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's something that you should maybe consider adding in at some point. Just add a little bit more variety to the gameplay. But I have a feeling that the variety comes from the four-player co-op and not actually from just playing it solo. Makes a reasonable map sense. Apparently, the final level has some bosses from another Valve title. I'm not sure which one that actually refers to. Most likely Half-Life, I would think. Or maybe Left 4 Dead. Get out of it. Maybe it's the old tier Team Fortress, guys. That would be quite amusing. Maybe it's Deathmatch Classic. Probably not Deathmatch Classic, let's be honest. I think what would also be kind of nice if maybe each class had a special attack of some description, as opposed to just, you know, the melee. But I can't say I'm massively impressed with the just you know, having a melee ability. All right, boss time. Okay, soldier. Whoa, okay. Okay. I don't know what that rocket launcher is, but it's Imbra, and I want to buy it on the store right the hell now. Nah, nah. Balls. Get back here. Well, this guy's a little bit easier than the scout. Just the case of avoiding running into those. Ah, and not going at that range. Get to a fairly extreme range. No, I... I need to sort of be ahead of him. I can't hit him from there. There we go. Much better. Down you go. Stabby, stabby. 
I'm going to show one more stage, then we'll conclude a bit. It's a really nice, fun, free game. And I think the point of WT Free is now just to highlight games that might be worth your time. So, hey, look at this game. Let's try the sniper, shall we? There we go. The lift. I think I may have picked the wrong level for this, if I'm totally honest. We shall find out. Do I have a stabby stabby? Yes, I do. Good, good, good. Okay, yeah, I definitely picked the wrong class for this level. This was a very stupid decision. Why Why did I pick the sniper? Oh, God. This is going to make things significantly more difficult than they should be. There we go. He's extremely good at killing things in one hit. I'll give him credit for that. This is probably not the ideal level for this, though. There we go. Well, there you go, folks. A bit of a look at Team Fortress Arcade. Good fun to play with friends. If you're forever alone, probably not as fun, but hey, it's not too shabby for a free game, is it? It keeps the vibe of TF2 quite nicely. I say, the, the issues I've got with it, a special attack for each class would be cool. That wasn't just a melee attack. Enemies don't really make a lot of sense in the TF universe. I mean, what's that? Freaking Metroid? I don't even have a clue. And the fact that there aren't any power-ups as well. Those are the issues that I've got with it. Aside from that, really nice D-make. Very, very nice indeed. A lot of fun to play. Feels good. Well worth picking up. Post the link for you in the description below this video. Please bear in mind, this is launch day. So chances are it's going to lag like hell if you try and download this thing. It is only 10 megabytes, so shouldn't really concern you all that much. But just be patient if you want to try and get a hold of it. My name has been Tolbiscuit. Have a look at Team Fortress Arcade. I'll see you next time.